Is it easier to paint big models or small models? If you're just starting out, these little guys can feel pretty intimidating. How do you keep your hands steady enough? How do you do the little cables? How do you paint the eyes? Surely it would be easier just to do a big model like this. Or an even bigger model like this. So that gave me an idea. Square Enix is bringing Warhammer 40,000 to Power Wash Simulator. And they've got a bunch of really cool models in there. So could we convince them to sponsor this video and pay us to cross the country in search of one of the largest and most expensive models available? And then give it to a total beginner to paint? Yep. Thanks, Square Enix. This is a resin Legion Thunderhawk gunship. It's so big and complicated to build that Games Workshop have given an age rating of 15. With a warning, this is not a toy. Kind of is a toy though, isn't it? So now we have our not a toy grown up business gunship. Alex and I built, primed and gave it a rough base with the help of a few friends. Check out the six hour video of that in our members section. It's got one of those pictures of a fish in a dead tree. <laughs> well, that's right, I'm not a tree yeah. or a fish. Yeah. Yeah. Also be says fine. It, also says it shouldn't be on your hand. <laughs> <laughs> and then I found the perfect candidate to paint it. What is this? I feel like I'm about to perform an autopsy or something. Oh my God, it's massive. <laughs> Jesus. I've only painted the little tiny guys. What if I ruin it? All the, all the Warhammer mans will be angry at me. Lydia has exactly one afternoon's worth of experience in building and painting models. Her Tyranids look like this. It's just bits together at random that makes no sense. Why? 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 And she holds cups of tea like this. Why? Oh, I'm pouring it literally. Oh my God, I'm such a fucking- So naturally, she's the perfect person to paint the 600 pound, heavily armed resin death machine. And to keep us company, I invited Tom and Lewis to paint some of the other models from the game with me. And then when we're done, we're gonna give them all away. Yes, even whatever this ends up looking like. So check out the description to see how you can win. Ah, oh, so here we are. We've all got models from the Power Wash DLC in front of us. They've all been prepped and base coated and uh, ready to go. Lydia, your model's certainly a lot bigger than the rest of us. What the hell? <laughs> Do you all feel very inferior next to me right I'm now? I'm very jealous <laughs> and a little yeah, intimidated. A little bit intimidated. Common problem. <laughs> <laughs> to make the process a little easier, I gave her three achievable objectives. Step one, start with a dry brush. And what that'll do is pick out all the little rivets and edges of the panels and stuff, and they'll be slightly brighter than the rest of it, and that'll make it pop and feel like you've oh. painted it properly. Step two, paint the windows. That'll bring it to life even more. Okay, windows sound really yeah. difficult though. You'd be really surprised actually. It gives this sort of impression of um, reflecting the skyline off the window. Mm -hmm. Like when you see cars driving along, you usually can't yeah. see the driver. You yeah. can just see like the sky reflected off the glass. And um, that technique, super simple. And then once you've passed those two very easy techniques, step three, okay, we're yeah. going to get you to freehand <laughs> some of the logos and symbols. And all that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. What? That is the bit I'm most excited for. But that these... sounds great. But the Thunderhawk isn't the only model in Power Wash Simulator. So Lewis, Tom, and I each picked one other model from the game too. I'm painting the Rogel Dawn, the biggest of the non super heavy. <laughs> Astro Militarum Battle Tanks. <laughs> Whoa! In English wow. point, actually. <laughs> My plan is, um, because it's already got um, the green and another, another shade of green, um, I'm just going to dry brush it more green, just so all the details come out. Hit it with some, some silver, do a couple of details on it, and depending on time, maybe even use some sponge and then kind of do a load of mud and grime all over the bottom and the tracks and just try and make it look um, super weathered. Lewis chose a blue Ultramarines Land Raider. I'm gonna do exactly what Tom said. <laughs> yeah. No, come up with your own painting plan. I'm gonna dry brush it. What did you say green? I'm gonna use blue though. <laughs> oh, <laughs> key difference. Okay. After being convinced to not just copy Tom, Lewis settled on giving his tank a light dry brushing, adding some color to the tracks and guns and sticking on some transfers. Yeah, I think the, the white transfers on the blue hull will look great. Classic. Mm. Finally, I picked the Bone White Redemptor Dreadnought. To let us focus on the fun stuff, we base coated these models in advance. So my job today is to focus on the shading, the detail, 
and adding a couple of transfers. So you splashed ink all over him and you've done the gun as well. Where did you come in this morning? <laughs> I've been a busy boy. <laughs> you got a head no start. to see me base, us all just base coating models for two hours. So we'll get the, the hard work done. Oh, there's someone who's watching right now who's already halfway through typing. <laughs> I want to see you base coating models for two hours. So now we've picked our models, discussed our plans, and I've given Lydia a few easy objectives to follow. It's finally time to get stuck in. Okay, so now gently, like, you want to be like gently brushing it in a consistent direction and you want to be aiming for all the corners and hard edges. Right, give you a little bit of blush a laugh, bring out your cheek. Imagine bones. where the sun is coming down and the light comes from. So you don't want to do this like underneath the wings. Right. You want to do it like as the light comes down from the... What if I'm flying flight. over the sun, huh? <gasps> what do you think about that? Oh, you want to do the upside down fun dog? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, it's doing a, doing a barrel roll. So I like to name everything because it gives me an emotional bond. Mm, um, very like important. Big Bertha and mm -hmm. things like that. What's your brush called? Oh, <laughs> Daniel. Daniel. <laughs> me and Daniel. Um, so me and Daniel are painting. Uh, this ship, I call him Gamblor. 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 And um, the he, gambler, ga the gambler, and he takes to the skies mm -hmm. and um, is a pirate ship. A pirate ship, a pirate ship, yeah. Is that a thing? Is like, it? sure, we'll have a world. Yeah, you so can <laughs> renegade, <Blood> Angels. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Very interesting. I was just thinking about how people are gonna think, uh, why did they get Lydia to paint the really incredible, expensive one, not the people that know how to do it <laughs> when I inevitably make it really ugly? But it's okay because just like power wash, mm -hmm. you can redo it you can clean it all up that's true you can just do it again. again if you hate what i've created yeah very good that's right one. if you win the thunder yeah. very easy to strip the paint off and go again i'd like to keep it though yeah and just be like orcs stole my thunderhawk and graffiti to work oh it. yeah that's a bit i like that once everyone had settled in with their dry brushing i decided to try something a little different so here's my fella. I'm going to try a technique that I've heard a lot of people talking about, but I've never tried myself. Oh, is that painting good? Yeah. Oh! Sounds great. <laughs> I've been doing, I don't know why I've waited so long. <laughs> <laughs> so um, it's uh, sponging. I'm going to try sponging layers and layers and layers of this bone color over the top oh, to man. create like a, like a rough texture. Man, it's I'm basically, all about it's basically like sponges. dry brushing, but yeah. you use a sponge instead of a brush to lightly dab layer and layer and layer on. It's, it's really good. It's really quick. It's really fun. I assume this is just a casual ripping sponge. Oh yeah, this is what... I, I didn't bring him a good sponge. <laughs> <laughs> I used to love like arty stuff. Um, when I was like a kid, I loved painting and doing this kind of stuff. I just never really kept it up as I got older. Mm. It's always something I've wanted to get back into, but just never really. Well, yeah, I mean, it's one of those know. things that you don't often have the time for in everyday life. And if you don't like dedicate like a chunk of like time for it, mm. it's just one of those things that sort of just sits there as an idea. Exactly, exactly. Also, computer games are a lot easier. <laughs> right? To, yeah. right? Uh, you know, just put some some crap on the telly or play a computer game is just instant gratification. Exactly. While Lewis, Tom and I were still on our first stages, Lydia was feeling pretty happy with her dry brushing. Okay, I think that my Correct. gambler has been sufficiently dry Yeah, brushed. I think he's very orange now. He's had his blush, and now I'm gonna move on to a bit of sort of, I like to call it the eyeshadow <laughs> of Warhammer painting. Um, nice. Shall I do? Do we do windows? Windows, because I said eyeshadow, and windows ah. are the eyes to your soul. To your pilot. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yes. Clean <laughs> metaphor. Oh, what a segue. Right. So you want to get like a, a blodge, like a blob a blodge. on there. A blodge. And you want to add a little bit of water to it. Okay. Try paint. I'd start with one of the bigger windows first. Uh, just so you can get used to it. Just swipe it in the middle and just see if the consistency is right. Like if, if the paint looks like lumpy or thick, or if it looks like it's um, so runny, it's gonna like shrink and run around everywhere. Uh, that looks all right. Feel right. So once you've sort of tested that it's the right consistency, you can just Ooh, fill it good. all in. So fill it all in. Mm -hmm. As Lydia started painting her windows, Lewis and I finished our first stages. They don't look super different right now, but it's all acting as a base that we can build on. Pretty soon though, Lewis hit a bit of a snag deciding exactly where his guns should go. So Ben's saying, this door here, the space marines can spill out of here. There's two doors here, right? Yes. So most people put the gun on this mount and the door on that mount. But I've reversed it. 
because otherwise you're coming out of this door right in front of the gun switch seems insane surely you want to put the gun here so, and then come out of this the gun door. does rotate you know you can so i i do 100 percent agree with you on the logic Mm -hmm. But the guns at the back, I think, have a better profile on the tank. It like, looks cooler it, with the guns at the back, because then it doesn't look front heavy. Yeah, yeah, but I mean, it doesn't make sense. <laughs> and I, I'm not going to fight you. I'm not. <laughs> the, the last cannons on the front doors what or the better? back doors. Yeah. Well, your hand's in the way. I can't well, see. Front, so back, okay, back, back door or, or front door. Can I see back again? Back door. Back door. <laughs> front door. <laughs> front door. Oh, it's a tricky decision, that is. Tell this is why we've been talking about it for 10 minutes, Lydia. Tuned out. Have you glued the, the... Does it have to go into the frame, though, that you've Oh, glued? yeah, you have to put them on the front because of the way I built it. <laughs> <laughs> so... So the whole, whole thing! <laughs> the whole conversation is, is moot. Next, Tom showed off not only his dry brushing, but also a really cool effect he'd been working on. It's had a dry brush, and what has been done next is doing like some chipping effects. Oh, I love the chipping! Where basically just sponge on the lightest colour mm -hmm. all over, then you do a couple of little, little flicks with the brush, mm -hmm. and then you paint go on top of that and paint it black and then put a bit of silver in. It looks like the paint has come off. And the, the damage is so good. Mm. It's really realistic. Like, oh, wow. Can you see like on the yeah. front of Holy crap. So I've been helping everyone else. So my progress is pretty slow and that's my excuse and I'm sticking to it. So here we go. We've got a very bone boy. Oh, he's looking lovely. He's lovely panels. Mm. Oh, he looks fantastic. Mm. He's very clean. He's, you've really done a great job cleaning him up, actually. Because he was a dirty teeth stained boy before. Mm. Well, while Tom's tank was really coming along, Lydia had come to a conclusion regarding her second objective. I hate windows, oh. and I think they should all be destroyed and removed from history, and okay. history books should be burnt in a sacrilegious fire. Wow, so, this, is, this is like... <laughs> this is a hot take. Blending it to get a gradient and create light is um, way harder than uh, I imagined. And when I looked at the picture, I just assumed, oh yes, I can do that. Um, <laughs> and it turns out that when you try and do it, it doesn't look like the picture. So I'm confused about oh. that. If you squint and you and you've also had a horrible accident and you've also got mud in your eyes and don't understand the concept of a window and, don't, and don't <laughs> never seen a window before because you were raised mm. in a concrete world this is pretty good mm. if you do that so now i was thinking for the final challenge you've got you've done the dry brushing looks fantastic yep you've done the windows they look great final challenge is <laughs> symbols or symbols. logos and you know badges okay so i'll let you choose what about like a sexy pin-up alien? Yeah. Down here. Because they're pirates and they, and they like sexy aliens. I love that, like the Memphis Bell. <laughs> okay, so for the last bit, I'm going to do the blood drop with the wings on either side of this bit. Um, I think I'm going to have the hazard black and, uh, sorry, yellow and black stripes. Ooh. Ooh. Where would they go? You could do it on the doors. Maybe on the doors, which are Just down sort of here? underneath the little wing. Yeah. So maybe there. And then if there's time, <laughs> a sexy alien here, but we'll see how that goes. <laughs> <laughs> What's this blood, the drop with um, wings called again? Blood Angel. Blood Angel. The blood Angel. <laughs> no, <laughs> paint that guy, paint that guy. <laughs> <laughs> I looked up, I looked up Can we get wings. that on? <laughs> oh, little guy! Hate him! Just be like, that's the first thing that came up. <laughs> He's lovely! <laughs> right, my eyes are not where they used to be, so no one look at me while I do this. <laughs> <laughs> this is non canon. Oh, you! <laughs> you <laughs> oh my god! This isn't real, this isn't happening! Oh, Avert your eyes! Jesus Christ! <laughs> Okay, you can make all the fun you want, but these things are invaluable. I was really able to get into some of the finer detail, and it didn't take long before I was ready for the next step. As you can see, we've got a wash on the silver, so now it's kind of a much darker metallic effect. We've done the uh, green on the eagle for a pop of colour. Once that's dry, I'll give it a highlight. Oh got yeah, that's amazing. Um, we'll wait till that's dry again, and then give it a white dry brush on the plasma coils, so they can get like white hot. While we wait for all this washing to dry, I'm going to put some transfers. I'm going to put one transfer on each like side of his chest plate and probably one on each shoulder pad as well, just to add a bit more colour and detail to him. So I wet the panels and I picked out a good set of tweezers, because transfers can be a pretty delicate operation. There we go. That's why the 
tweezers are so handy. And then it's get it nice and, and wet then, so you can move it around. Yeah, that's why I got the wet down first. So now I can just nudge it about. I think that's oh, really nicely done. Nailed there. it. That's perfect. Thank you. Ben, that looks incredible. Inspired by my expert tweezering, Lewis decided to give some transfers of his own a go. Ooh, very nice. Oh, not quite. I think it needs to be a little bit this... Oh, no. Right, okay, now it's going wrong, then. I just need to tilt it a little bit. It's entirely... It's got a little ha hair... Oh, no, it's got a little rip in it. I've moved it around too much. Get some more, more liquid on. You know that's when you see a pa picture, a painting, and you're like, <laughs> left a level? bit, was that level? <laughs> We're going with that. Okay, perfect. It turns out that drawing a sexy alien woman <laughs> on a small surface area at a strange angle... <laughs> Sexy oh, it's cool! It's actually pretty cool! Do you want to see sexy, <laughs> sexy gamble? <laughs> da, 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 da. Oh, oh, what it a babe! <laughs> Isn't she gorgeous? Isn't she gorgeous? <laughs> you know how many people are going to be so disappointed that they could have had this incredibly expensive Warhammer figurine painted by Tom or Ben from their beloved Warhammer series and instead they got this. <laughs> They got Gamblor! They got Gamblor! So with Lydia's objectives complete, we just had to add a couple of quick finishing touches. And then, it's time to take a closer look at everyone's models. Here's my uh, Deathwing Redemptor Dreadnought. He's basically one colour, but with some little pops of detail. You can see he's got Wrath written on his shoulder pad. Whoa, uh, that's cool. Grapes of Wrath is his favourite book. Oh, nice. Uh, he has grapes on the other shoulder. He looks fantastic. He looks great. He's got his, his glowy plasma gun. And um, yeah, once the base is done, I think he'll be cool. Yeah. He's a good boy. I've got an Ultramarines Land Raider, mm -hmm. ready for battle. Front guns, of course. <laughs> of course. Mm. <laughs> As any Safe. professional will tell you. Safety first. <laughs> <laughs> As opposed to the rear guns. Uh, I got, he's, he's, he's blue, he's red, he's silver, he's got a bit of dirt on him. I love, the, the weathering looks great. Mm. I just, just, I just, just did a, literally this bit of sponge with with brown on it <laughs> yeah. and went crazy for two minutes and it was it looked fine didn't it and uh yeah put one transfer on which looks like it's in the right place mm -hmm. just about but yes very happy with this this is the most basic thing i could imagine doing but mm. i i'm really pleased tom's looks completely wow. different it's wild yeah it's just a lot of like real sneaky techniques that mm -hmm. are really quick but they look like you've done a lot yeah, like there's not a lot of actual complicated. I love this red stripe at the front. I, I always love it. think it looks good. It does. No, not, it a lot of people great. don't paint it on, but honestly, like when you've got a camoed up tank, having like a bold stripe of color really helps. It just the, makes it look like there's a bit more going on. Oh, looking Ooh, at the kill count on the turret. Oh, as well. did you do it with He's your hands? Just got a little kill count. That's oh, what I was trying to do at the oh, end. Oh, that looks so awesome! My God, he's killed like dozens of. <laughs> yeah, because he's the best Ben. He's killed. Well, he's dented up enough with all this battle damage that you. The battle damage. You done looks so good. Did you do this? The, these little bits of like, yeah. What? That's uh, amazing. You know what? Pretty really happy. nice. Really, really nice, man. Pretty cool. Really impressed. Super yeah. impressed. You've seen the rest. Now let's see the best. Yes, the yeah. main event. Yeah. Main event. Show baby. us what you got. Wow! Look at this. Oh, that's a great start. Thank you. I started with the dry brushing mm -hmm. um, to give it that sort of like little glow, sunsetty. It looks like it's in space. Yeah. Mm. Do you that's know what I mean? It looks like you're looking at it through some sort of weird space filter. That's so it's good. almost it's good. textured. It's a spaceship. Yeah. That's where it lives. That's where it lives. <laughs> Um, and then we moved on to the windows, mm. which were my um, my nemesis, if I'm honest. It looked so easy looking at another person doing mm. it, but I just could not recreate it. Well, from my point of view, it looks great. Yeah. I yeah. think the windows look great. So from here, it's a really nice detail that's such a high contrast to the rest of the ship. I do like the blue and the red, like mm. the comparison. I, I think, think when you really look nice. at the guide and they do it really differently and you want it to look like that and it doesn't quite look like that, it's still good enough. Then I did, well I had, because I, I wasn't using any stencils, I was mm -hmm. just using um, freehand, I did the little Blood Angel mm -hmm. logo and then I decided I hated it <laughs> and um, painted over it. But sure. I, that's part of the lore I've decided though oh, because yeah. the people that, the pirates 
pirates that stole this mm -hmm. from the, the the original owners had this on the side right. and the pirates painted over it oh. and you can still see it like oh. peeking through right they tried to like whitewash Which, over the, yeah, the symbol but, but you when you can, scrub off graffiti and exactly. it, you can still see it it looks like they it was just like a bad tattoo that they've, <laughs> yeah. had, they've had lasered a few times exactly. and it's still the shadow of it still there very intentional <laughs> Um, I've done this hazard door, but realizing I've missed, missed a, one strike. A huge, I've missed up here, it's I've missed fine. down here. At least you did it. But the I like piece, it. La Resistance. Oh, sacre bleu. Uh, Gamble or. <laughs> I forgot to mention the important is that the name, name of the alien or the ship? I can't remember. That's the ship. Okay. The alien is called Gambolina. Gambolina. <laughs> right? Oh. So this is Gambolina. Da, 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 da. Oh. So again, you know how the World War One planes had <laughs> yeah. the sexy women playing yeah. on the sides? This is their sexy women because aliens, right. they're alien pirates. So the pirates who stole the ship, are they aliens? <laughs> they're aliens. Ah, yeah. I see. Yeah. I see. Yeah. So this is their equivalent of like Marilyn Monroe. Oh like oh. this is. <laughs> Yeah. Very very to them, it looks amazing. <laughs> they are very, very nice. How did you find painting a really big model to paint the small models you did last time? It's it's weirdly harder and easier at the same time. Mm. It's easier in the sense that obviously it's there's so much more surface space that mm. you can afford to be a lot more messier and, and get away with it. You're not trying to like, you know, do minute amounts of detail. Mm. But the thing that made it harder is I feel like if you have a little figurine, it's so easy to manipulate it in whatever angle right. you want. Yeah, Whereas exactly. this, this is really heavy. Yeah, like, even spinning it's not enough. You want to tilt it I and needed, stuff, right? Yeah, like to do Gambolina, mm. I had to paint her. Like I couldn't <laughs> lift the whole thing up. <laughs> yeah. So um, that's why she looks like this and not because of my art skill. <laughs> so there you have it. We've travelled the country, we've spent a lot of money, and possibly ruined a few models trying to figure out the best way for a beginner to start painting. Did we get a definitive answer? Not really. But, in a way, I don't think that matters. One of the things I've realised doing this is that actually, no matter how good they are or what the model is, it's just kind of fun painting with my friends. Thank you to Square Enix for sponsoring this video and making this possible. The Warhammer 40,000 special pack for Power Wash Simulator is available on Steam and consoles now. So please check it out. There's a link in the description to find out more. Bye! Bye.